Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Mattel DC Comics multiverse figure of the Penguin, played by Danny DeVito in the Tim Burton film Batman Returns. I've been wanting like six inch scale Batman and Superman figures from like DC Direct or DC Collectibles or Mattel for forever. And now that they finally launched this line, granted in a smaller scale, I've been mostly disappointed in them. Like, General Zod doesn't really look much like Terrence Stamp, it's a pretty simple figure. The regular Batman figure's head's way too small. The Michael Keaton one looks like Sloth from fucking Goonies. The only one that I've really been impressed with so far was the Penguin. I think it looks pretty good and I'm really excited to review it. The Penguin figure comes with one accessory and that is the two pieces of his umbrella. And like a lot of accessories that are put in packaging, the packaging mold has sort of bent the uh, handle. So that's kind of a bummer, but you just sort of attach that in there and it just snaps right in. Now let's take a closer look at the uh, figure itself because I'm really happy with how this one turned out. At least compared to like Zod and Batman and stuff, this is my favorite one in this series. Uh, first of all, I dig that the, uh, the outfit has a little more detail than some of the other ones. Yeah, Batman turned out pretty good, but like Zod's fairly simple, but this has, you know, layers to it. He's got this little, uh, you know, cravat or tie or whatever, um, and he's got this uh, vest, and I like that the vest has uh, sculpted wrinkles into it. In fact, the coat, just like his uh, sleeves, have, you know, wrinkles sculpted into it. The coat itself has uh, some waves to it. And the coat is, uh, you know, thank God it's not made of cloth. It's not super hard plastic, but it does hold and, and hang well, but it's soft enough that it, it's pliable and gives sort of a clothy texture feel. It is soft, so this was a really good choice as far as the coat goes. Um, but yeah, let's just take a closer look at the uh, pants. You can see that the pants have like little pinstriping, you know, sculpted into them. As far as articulation goes, I like that not only does the shoulder have the swivel, but it's also got a hinge in it. I really dig that. It's got the basic hinge at the elbow, swivel at the wrist. His waist has like this little itty bitty swivel, but I can't get it to turn more than that. But uh, he's got a single knee joint, um, but there is no thigh cut in there. There is just the only thing that you know, or moves on his leg is just the knee. Um, but at the top of the leg, it does swing out on the sides and move forward. Uh, also, he's got head articulation, but it's not much. You do have a range of motion of about that far, but based on his shoulders and all that, he can't move his head too much. But I do really like the head sculpt a lot. Uh, it's got the best likeness, I think, of all the other uh, movie figures in this series. Um, just be on the look at as far as paint goes, see those little paint areas around his nose? Some of them can be really gloppy and awful. I know they're trying to go for that kind of Burton-y grime that you saw uh, in those kind of lines by his nose and mouth. And they did a good job with that on this figure, at least I think. Another thing I dig is they did a good job on the eyes. I, I like the use of light purple paint that they use to create the kind of baggy areas around his eyes. I think it really does reflect how he looks in the movie quite well. Um, just worth noting that the hat is attached, you can't take it off. But they did a good job with the hair as far as the way it's sculpted to hang over his shoulders. Uh, I really dig how the face turned out. It's really, really good paint. Even that little scowl, a little smirk in his mouth, and the little white used for teeth. Um, paint on this figure as a whole is quite good. I like the paint that they used on his little tie, all the little buttons that they did on his vest. Um, even the paint on his gloves, it's got that good sheen, that, that, that really vinyl-y shine that he had on his little uh, like webbed hands in the movie. That, those gloves look really screen accurate to me. Now I'm just going to attempt to uh, attach the umbrella into his hand to see if he's got a, a good grip on it or not. Appears like he does. You might want to have him choke up and hold the smaller end. It's too loose here and then kind of thick here where the weight... Well, that turned out alright. But it does bend from the packaging so you might have to alter the wrist a bit to get him to, to hold it better. But there you go. Overall, I dig this figure a lot. I'm not really into collecting figures of this scale, but I think this one has the best face likeness and sculpt and paint of any of the movie figures in this series. If you think I'm being too kind, I challenge you to take a look at this. What is this? I know it's supposed to be Michael Keaton, but honestly, I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. At least the Penguin figure looks like the Danny DeVito Tim Burton Penguin. One last note that's worth noting is that Penguin is far too tall compared to Batman. These are all in the same scale as far as like the height of the figures go. But compared to Superman and Zod and Batman and all that, this penguin's way too tall. But whatever, on its own, I think it looks really good. Thanks for watching.